This tutorial will show you how to properly set up Media Composer 6 to perform Adobe e Encode using Surcode for Adobe e Encoder. I will first describe each step and then perform the action on screen for you to follow along. First, we want to start by going to the Settings tab next to the Bins tab and double-clicking Audio Project. Set the session sample rate to 48K and the bit depth to 24. Now create eight mono audio tracks in your timeline, as I have done here. Import a 7.1 multi-mono surround mix into your project bin. Drag these newly imported tracks into the corresponding audio tracks in the timeline. Make sure that all these tracks have the same start point and are selected on the left-hand side of the timeline. Go Tools, Audio Mixer, and make sure that the Sequence Mix Format and the Mix Mode Selection are both set to Stereo. Note that this step is necessary. Audio Suite can only perform processing on multi-channel audio if the audio is interleaved. Select Options in the Export window. Make sure to export this as Audio, Direct Out, 48K, 24-bit, and as a WAV file. Hit Save. Name the track and send it to a directory of your choosing. In this case, I'll call it ZSD. Import the interleaf 7.1 file that you just created back into your project bin. Right click on this file and navigate to modify. From the top drop-down menu of the Modify window, navigate to Set Multi-Channel Audio. Click and hold the tab beneath A1 and A2 and select the program configuration you wish to achieve. In this case, Pro Tools 7.1. Create a 7.1 audio track and drag the newly imported file into this track on the timeline. Deselect all other tracks besides the interleave 7.1. Go Tools, Audio Suite, and select Circle for Dolby E Encoder and activate the plugin. Click Browse and select where you'd like to send your encoded file to be stored and enter a name. Click Save. Click Encode at the top of the encoder user interface. When the file is finished rendering, you will see idle in the progress bar. Now that the file has finished encoding, click cancel as the newly encoded file has been sent to the directory you chose in step 21 via the browse option. Import the file back into Media Composer by navigating to the directory you selected for the encode.
Right-click on the encoded file you just imported and navigate to Modify, as seen in Step 16. Create a stereo audio track in your timeline and drag the Dolby E encoded file onto that stereo track. You now have a Dolby E encoded file in your Media Composer timeline.